Some of the areas that may experience flooding include South Denver, Aurora, Centennial, Eastern Highlands Ranch, Castle Rock, Parker, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, Roxborough Park, Bennett, the Pinery, Arapaho Park, Franktown, Castle Pines, Ponderosa Park, Buckley Space Force Base, Sedalia, Leveres, Foxfield, and Cherry Creek Reservoir. So, uh, oh, look at that cloud going in. That is from Lookout Mountain. So that is looking east from Lookout Mountain. And that low scud that you see is some of the real low level humidity that's feeding into these thunderstorms as they move across the Front Range area. And so th this is just a classic situation as far as uh, severe weather. We have cold air aloft, which brings you large hail. We have a strong jet stream that's coming in at about 25 to 30,000 feet. That gives you a lot of energy or what we call in meteorology strong dynamics in the atmosphere. We have low level inflow from the east, high humidity coming in, warmer temperatures farther to the east across the eastern plains feeding into the storm. So you add all of that up and it's a, it's a five finger punch uh, of, of severe weather that's coming through here and that's what's going to continue to roll on farther to the north. Now it does look to me and I'm looking at current temperatures. Uh, actually, let me pop that up. Thank you, Katie. Look at that. It's 80 right now in Lyman and 87 degrees at Lamar. And with that, that warm air is just pouring in on these east to southeast winds that are feeding in, flowing up and over the Palmer Divide and down into the Denver area. Even though it's only 57 degrees here, we have so much energy in the lower levels of the atmosphere out on the eastern plains. So the key to that is going to mean that areas that are just to the east of Denver, where they're closer to that warm air, are really going to feel this as uh, we get the thunderstorm activity and the tornado warnings. That will continue to roll on up into central Arapahoe County, Adams County, moving on up eventually into Weld County and farther to the north. Um